My journey as a street entertainer, it began in the spring of 2010, mainly due to my eye condition, which was a lot better at the time, but I'm not going to dive into this story right now. Basically, I was drugged. I was pulled in by my girlfriend at that time, now my beloved wife, the mother of my kids. She was also a novice into street performing. She was the silver lady. The silver lady created the silver man. How nice. However, I don't remember why we had to paint my leather costume right in front of the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. But I do remember I was so shy. And like that, I brought to life my first act as a silver statue the silver man with golden eyes. I kept performing for about two years with the hope in my mind that a treatment for my eye condition will be available soon and I can orientate myself for a stable long-term profession. But it didn't happen. And during my performance up there, I realized that I like it a lot. I start enjoying it. All the joy on the children's faces while watching me, people's reactions, all the laughs of the audience, especially when I was scaring somebody, made me dedicate myself more to it. And I realized that I have to improve myself to bring something better for the public. At the end of 2011, I saw a video with a gentleman sitting on an invisible chair. Then. It clicked into my head the idea that it will be amazing to bring the floating trick into a living statue act. But I knew I cannot copy his act and I have to do something different. And it didn't last long. And I came out with my new gear, the floating old man, actually the Alfred Hitchcock face, holding a stick and sitting on nothing. I had loads of fun with that costume loads of people was gathering around me wondering themselves how i stay there but the fun it lasts only for two months i think maximum three because a gentleman actually a greedy man i cannot call him a different way he saw the street performing the living statue as a good opportunity for a business he copied my act and other acts and he made about 15, 20 costume. I'm not sure about it. He find some poor foreigners, brought them into England. They probably didn't know what they're going to work when they're going to arrive here. So he dressed them up, put them in the streets all around Piccadilly Circus, Trafalgar Square, here in Covent Garden. He even made some special boxes, locked boxes for co the collection of the money. The money could go in, but never could come out, only if he was unlocking them. And he was charging those poor people 70% of the money that they were making during the day. I don't know how legal was that, but it was bad. And I know that because some of his workers after a while left him and I had the chance to talk to them, to listen to their story. And they told me, how bad it was. Actually, at that time, it was a serious problem for us here in Covent Garden as well, because the Westminster Council wouldn't allow living statues to perform whatever around central London, and they start filling in here into Covent Garden. And with the only rule in place here, first came, first serve, it start being a hustle so it was quite hard because i had to hang around here from midnight one o'clock in the morning to claim myself a spot for the day it was difficult however after several meetings with some representatives of the westminster council with all the performers around here magicians jugglers musicians us as well i took part as well in some meetings with the westminster council we managed to bring in place a code of practice guidelines, a license and a pool draw system for the spots of living statues here in Covent Garden. And it started being better. But in the meantime, 
I couldn't remain with the same costume. I had to differentiate myself somehow from all those floating guys around Covent Garden and everywhere on the streets of London. So I came out in the summer of 2013 with my new gear, the standing up Silverman statue. At that point, I learned my lesson the hard way, but I learned it. I knew that I have to keep my method of levitating secret. Otherwise, they will copy my act again and fill up the streets of central London again with the same act. So I was the one to be blamed for all of the floating and levitating living statues that was overwhelming the streets of central London. Sorry for that. <laughs> but because I'd done in a rush my new standing up gear, it wasn't done the way I wanted. So in the autumn of 2014, I started working on my new project. And I came out after six months of hard work with my new levitating silver statue builder. The old box came out in the spring of 2015. Now, not only the greedy man was after me to find out my secrets so he can copy it for his workers, but also some YouTubers were hunting me so they can get themselves some good content revealing my secret for their YouTube channels. And one of them managed to put together a video, including me setting up my gear with some parts of my equipment and his opinion only about my method of levitating which is not the way I do it. Of course, the greedy man from my story tried the YouTuber method for his workers, but they didn't last long, which proves that is not the way I do it. Further, in 2016, I started working on a new project. And after a couple of months, I came out with my new gear, the firefighter. I was working with that costume for a couple of good weeks, but because I've done it a little bit too complex, too many things to put together at the setting up process and the rapid decline in my vision made me to give up on it. Maybe I will come back. I will bring it back to life soon. Never know. And I turned back to my old Silverman statue builder. And I continued my performance occasionally with my builder until the pandemic hit us. So after a few months of pandemic, and the rapid decline in my vision, I was pretty sure that that was the end of my journey as a street performer. And I enrolled myself into a computing course at the College of Northwest London. And suddenly, in the summer of 2021, me and my wife, we was passing through Covent Garden and we met uh, our good friend, the magician Sergio, and he nearly started shouting at me, why I'm not performing, why I'm not here in the streets, because people are asking about me. The street is empty without me, and I had to give a try. So, with loads of encouragement and support from my wife, even if I knew that I'm not going to be able to react as I used to do before, to make my funny faces, to do the funny jokes, to respond to people's reactions, I turned back to my passion and I start performing again. Now in the summer of 2022, I successfully completed my college in parallel with my passion and I'm not going to stop here. I will keep going.